Nuendo 10 comes with many workflow and look and feel improvements. The user interface was completely revised and now supports high resolution displays. Everything looks much sharper and clearer now. Also, the panels and menus were restructured for a better user experience. For example, the automation panel, where all functions can be accessed more easily now. The different sections in the audio export menu can be folded now, to be unfolded only when needed. This grants a much better overview while still providing full functionality. In the media tab on the right, you will find the new FX tile, where you have access to all your VST FX plugins. Also new is that you can save images of your plugins, so you can identify them more easily. From here, you can apply a VST plugin to a track simply by dragging it to the track header or to a specific insert slot. In the same manner, you can easily create effects tracks. Just drag the VST plugin between two existing tracks and the effects track will be created automatically. Also, the plugin's user interface appears. Also, the channel strip in the channel settings was redesigned. It's now possible to change a plugin's position in a signal path simply by drag and drop. So now it's an even better supplement to the insert effects by providing all the everyday mixing tools without loading any additional VST plugins. Let's have a look at the modules in the channel strip. There's a noise gate, the channel equalizer, the deesser, an envelope shaper, three compressors, the standard compressor, tube compressor, and vintage compressor, three limiters, the brick wall limiter, maximizer, and standard limiter, and three saturation tools, the Magneto 2, the tape saturation, and the tube saturation. The compressor module now has a detailed view, which you can access by clicking on the edit button. Besides a better overview, you get some more controls for each compressor. Also, for more clarity and overview, there's the new locator range display, which shows exactly the duration of your locator range or cycle. With the button on the left, the locator range adjusts to your event or range selection. If you keep the button pressed, you can exchange the position of the left and right locators. For example, to skip the locator range while playback. The coloring function in Nuendo 10 was completely overhauled and restructured. The coloring panel can now be opened as a floating window that stays open until all the coloring work is done. To open the floating coloring panel, go to Project, Colorize Selected Events or Colorize Selected Tracks, depending on what was selected. To colorize events, just select them and click on a color. To colorize tracks with the coloring panel, no events must be selected. Then just select the tracks and click on a color. You can reset the track color by clicking on Set Track Color to Default. If colorized events are selected, you can reset their color to follow the track color by clicking on Set Event Color to Track. Another option to colorize events is to use the coloring tool. By command clicking on an event, the event's color panel opens. To customize the coloring panel, go to Project, Project Color Setup. Here, you can customize your color set to your needs. In the Presets tab, you can quickly set up a basic color set. You can choose from 8, 16, 24 or 32 basic colors, which can then be extended with up to 4 tints per color. The color set can be sorted by basic colors or tints. In the Options tab, you can save your color set as default, so any new session will start up with this color set. Existing sessions can switch to this color set too by clicking on Reset Colors to Default. Nuendo 10 got an all-new Add Track system. The new panel for adding tracks can be accessed by clicking on this plus icon. Here you find most of the tracks that can be created in Nuendo. If you want to create several different tracks in a row, simply click on Keep Dialog Open. When creating new audio tracks, it is now possible to directly select the physical input of your audio hardware. Nuendo creates the appropriate buses for you automatically. 
so you don't have to do it manually in the audio connections panel. If all needed tracks are created, simply close the Add Track panel. The other track types can be found in the drop-down menu next to the Add Track icon. Here you find the more specialized tracks like Arranger, Chord, Loudness, Signature, Tempo, Transpose and Video Track. Let's see what's new in the Mix Console. In the setup for the window layout, you now can add a Channel Latency Monitor. This shows the added latency per channel that may occur by CPU-intensive VST plugins. Currently, there's an added latency of 2 milliseconds for channel 1. To see where this comes from, you can open the Channel Latency Overview. It's a standard limiter from the channel strip that's responsible for these 2 milliseconds. If there are several plugins that cause latency, the latencies are summed up, while also showing the individual latencies for each plugin in milliseconds and samples. Of course, the automatic delay compensation of Nuendo takes care that all tracks run sample accurately together. Another great feature in the Mix Console are the Mixer Snapshots. With these, you can save different mixer settings and compare them with each other. All settings of a channel's pre-filter, inserts, equalizer, channel strip, effect sense and cue sense are stored with a Mixer Snapshot that can then be recalled anytime. To save a snapshot, click on the camera icon in the top left of the Mix Console. Per project, up to 10 snapshots can be saved. Here is a layered thunder sound effect, on which I want to try different mixer settings. I already saved the first snapshot, so now I want to try different settings and save another one. To save this new snapshot, I click on the camera icon again. So let's go for a third Mix Console setting. And save it as snapshot number 3. To recall the snapshots, I now switch to the full screen version of the Mix Console. Here, in the left zone, you find a new tab called Snapshots. With all three just saved snapshots. To recall a snapshot, simply click the icon on the right. And now the mix is reset to the state of the first snapshot. That's the second snapshot. And snapshot number three. For more clarity and overview, you can name your snapshots and add some additional notes to it. In the drop-down menu, next to the camera icon, you can find the snapshot recall settings. Here you can determine which racks of the mix console should be recalled and which not. This way the settings from different snapshots can be mixed. By checking selected channels only, a recall snapshot will only apply to the currently selected channels. If you want to make changes to an existing snapshot, adjust the parameters you need and select Update Selected Snapshot from the drop-down menu or by right-clicking the snapshot. If you want to delete the currently selected snapshot, go to the Snapshot drop-down menu or right-click on the snapshot and choose Delete Selected Snapshot. The Mix of Snapshots feature is a great support on the hunt for the perfect mix. To show the new simplified sidechain routing in Nuendo 10, I prepared a drone with some effects on it that will be triggered by a metal rummaging sound through a gate to achieve something like an electric sparks effect. So now I want to send the metal rummaging sound to the sidechain input of the gate on the drone's channel. So in the gate plugin I activate the sidechain input and open the plugin's new sidechain inputs panel right next to it. By clicking on Add Sidechain Input, I can now easily select from existing tracks to be sent to the gate sidechain input. I select the rummaging track and the routing is done. Here I can also set send levels and choose if it should be pre-fader or post-fader. By clicking on the Edit button, the channel settings of the source track appear. I bring down the fader of the source track to only have the pre-fader send signal. And here's some more small but very effective workflow improvements in Nuendo 10. 
Here I have cut some recordings of a gas flame, but for further editing I would like to have some space between each event. This can now be easily achieved with a new function in Edit, Functions, Set Spacer between selected events. I enter the duration of the gaps in seconds and click OK. And now I have some beautifully spaced audio events to work with. I now create a cycle marker for each event for a potential cycle marker export later. Now I want to spread the audio events, each to its own sound effects track below. And also for that is a new edit function in Nuendo 10. It's under Edit, Move to, Select a track. So I select the event and the target track and say Move to, Select a track. Especially in large editing sessions, this can be a real time saver. To spread the other events to their target tracks in no time, I created a small macro. So I only need to press Ctrl Shift A a few times and everything's done. Now I want to further edit and pre-design these gas flame audio events. First, I want to apply the normalized direct offline process, where it is now not only possible to do peak normalization, but also loudness normalization. So I choose to normalize the loudness at minus 14 LUFS. And this is instantly applied to all seven audio events. On the first track, I already have some real-time insert effects. Now I want these effects on each audio event as direct offline processes. And also this step has been simplified in Nuendo 10. It's not necessary anymore to create an effects chain preset that can then be loaded in the direct offline process panel. Now you can just open the mixer and simply drag and drop the whole effect chain to the direct offline processing panel. So now all four plugins have been applied to each of the audio events as a direct offline process and thus don't require any CPU power anymore. To speed up the workflow with direct offline processing even more, it is now possible to save whole effect chains as a batch process to the favorites, which can then be reapplied anytime. Simply select and drag all the effects for a new batch down to the favorites section. Name it and that's it. To apply this batch anywhere else, select the event, open the direct offline processing and click on the batch preset. No matter of music production or film sound, there's always audio to align. Good to know that the automatic audio alignment function in Nuendo 10 was improved as well. Here's a quite bad recording of myself that I tried to revoice. The problem is that I'm quite bad at lip sync recording. Let's have a listen. In physics, sound is a vibration that typically propagates as an audible wave of pressure through a transmission medium such as gas, liquid or solid. And as I said, the ADR is quite off. Let's listen to both the original and the ADR together. In physics, sound is a vibration that typically propagates as an audible wave of pressure through a transmission medium such as gas, liquid or solid. Yeah, it's quite off. One option would be to manually cut and edit the ADR to the original recording. But this is very time consuming and can get very messy. So I open the new audio alignment panel, which now provides more control and overview. First, I load my original recording to the reference slot by selecting it and clicking on the plus icon. Same procedure for the target. I select the event and add it by clicking on the plus icon. It is also possible to add several targets at once. The option Match Words is best suited for aligning spoken word or double-tracked vocals. By checking Preferred Time Shifting, the algorithm tries to avoid time stretching if possible and tries to shift events instead to match the reference. If you don't want the target track to perfectly match the reference, you can adjust this with the alignment precision. Let's listen to both tracks together again. In physics, sound is a vibration that typically propagates as an audible wave of pressure through a transmission medium such as gas, liquid or solid. Well, this fits quite nicely. And now the ADR recording alone. In physics, sound is a vibration that typically propagates as an audible wave of pressure through a transmission medium such as gas, liquid or solid. And there is my lip sync ADR recording. 
to see and maybe fine-tune the outcome of the audio alignment, I double-click the event to open the sample editor. Here are all the warp anchors created by the audio alignment algorithm. To edit, simply go to Audio Warp in the left zone and click on Free Warp. If you want to manually align or otherwise edit your recordings, this new feature in the sample editor might come in handy. It now is possible to view the waveforms of all selected events at once. To do so, go to the toolbar of the sample editor and click on Show all selected audio events. And as soon as you select two or more audio events, they show up in the event editor in their event colors. You can choose to edit all selected clips simultaneously or only the active event by clicking on Edit Active Event Only. You can select the active event in the drop-down menu on the right. And now I can place some warp anchors and do the audio alignment by myself. Ok, now let's have a listen to the manual edit. In physics, sound is a vibration that typically propagates as an audible wave of pressure through a transmission medium such as gas, liquid or solid. This was Noando 10's new set of workflow improvements. I'm Zaro Zahihi from Soundbits. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Noando channel.